uh, again we are going to talk about broadcast and uh, there is one scenario where uh, broadcast can be used actually so it's not uh, very frequently used but yeah still uh, we can see how you know broadcast uh, can be used so uh, in many a times uh, we have to uh, group the you know records which are uh, probably uh, placed in you know multi uh, multi file actually let's say we are talking about 10k uh, multi file and uh, they are distributed across uh, 10 different partitions and the record are uh, you know such a way that there are uh, this is the number right 26 124 522 551 likewise 997 980 so these are the uh, records and they are not sorted okay uh, within the partition or globally they are not sorted so this is the file and what we are going to do is we have we have let's say we have 10 different groups and we need to uh, label those uh, records as a you know the labeling of these records should be a group let's say number two is going to come in within one group number one Six is also going to be group number two, uh, group number one. Likewise, if you want one for we are talking about, then it comes in a group two. Likewise, if nine at least we are talking about, it could be come to the group number ten. So we need to assign uh, assign all these records a group. So, so among these ten different groups, okay, one to ten. So and uh, as I told, like we have this. Uh, these data spread across 10 different partitions and they are not sorted within the partition and also globally okay. this is the uh, this is the input we have so this is the input and we know that we are going to distribute across you know 10 different groups we are going to label these you know. and the output could be in like this one so if we are talking about partition 00, 0 it should be sorted after the after the this one after processing and also there should be a label assigned to it group number right so if you're talking about like this if it p zero three third group three zero one three zero one is some number within this you know this group this uh, number of records okay and uh, nine zero zero nine zero two these are all numbers in this this uh, you know input so they it doesn't i mean it's not we are not sure that which you know number is lies in which partition no. this is also we don't know so the 999 okay let's say this is the last record so 10 group 10, 10 would be assigned like so this is the input and this is uh, what we are going to uh, see we are going to label the group okay which record is uh, within each partition and going to be sorting across okay so then what we are going to see the graph design this is a very kind of you know complex graph is going to be okay so let's see uh, i have a design of this graph and you also can see in uh, you know every issue so there are you know when if you are working uh, actively in every issue then you can see this uh, this kind of you know use cases or this kind of help okay in the documentation as well so let me talk about and let's uh, seek your attention regard towards this you know design so uh, i would be uh, explaining a uh, uh, few different uh, within a uh, few different places of this graph uh, in, in this video and uh, I'll try to make you understand how this is you know how broadcast uh, uh, you know uh, try try to see what we are going to achieve okay uh, help us trying to achieve okay so this is a thousand let's say thousand records and we have 10 10 parts you know number of partitions also 10 and we have 10 groups we need to you know label all these thousand records into the 10 10 groups okay uh, so we are going to sample these records so first we are going to you know sort these records there's a global sort okay so within each partition we are going to sort these records so how we are going to sort so what we could do is like we can sample those records okay and we because we have a you know splitter there is a component called find splitter 
So if we uh, if we specify the number of partitions as ten, and we have you know a key, okay. So then it will be you know uh, it will be uh, giving ten records, okay, um, from the sample, okay, ten 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 different records, okay. Uh, that that will try to uh, split those uh, thousand records into uniformly, okay. Then these ten records I am going to broadcast, and each and every partition. Of these uh, thousand records would be um, would be compared with the uh, sorry it would be a partition by range so uh, ten records and these uh, these thousand records would be partitioned into ten different uh, depending upon the range okay uh, which is coming from the broadcast uh, uh, component so they are going to be uh, they are going to be uh, you know. Are uh, sorted basically. They are going to be partitioned by you know range, and they are going to be again then there is a sorting. Okay, so why we are doing this is because we are we are uh, getting the range out of these ten records, and from that range we are dividing all those records you know in, into the different partition, and then there we are going to sort it. So after sorting, there will be a there will be a sorted data in each partition. Okay, if so, this this is what I have explained until sort. So after sorting, we have replicate components. In replicate component, we are going to um, create three uh, uh, parallel three flows actually three pipeline basically. So one pipeline we are going to keep. Uh, we are going to use you know later point in time and one another pipeline. Which we are going to also use in later point in time, and we are going to talk about third pipeline. Within third pipeline, we will have you know we have a, you know sorted one thousand record in each partition in the third flow. So we are going to what we are going to uh, do uh, here is we are going to roll up partition wise. Okay, roll up partition wise count. So we are going to uh, see the count in each partition. Okay, let's say, uh, let's say in these, uh, you know, these uh, thousand records, in each record, one of the partition have, let's say, 80 records, another partition will have, you know, let's say, 150 records, and third partition will have 250 records, likewise. So, we are going to count those records in each partition, there will be 10 records, right? So, uh, so we are going to use the null key, you know, blank key in rollup. So there will be ten records. So we are going to receive ten record after rollup, and then there is an interleave. Interleave. The job of interleave is to departition. So all those uh, would be departition and make the serial flow. Then there will be a replicate, and then you know, ten record would be there here, and also ten record into the output. Okay. So. Okay, and then these uh, what we are going to do is so after replicate right somewhere here. Okay, and uh, somewhere here the input would be like a, um, I would say that before this one, okay, before this ten, the input would be like a, you know, two hundred, uh, sorry, two hundred, two hundred six, let's say. Or 195, okay. This kind of record would be there 200 and 199, okay. So, in this case, or maybe uh, like uh, you know, one uh, so because we have 10 partitions, right? So, there could be like uh, 100, 102, okay, and let's say 98. Likewise, we will have the records. Now oh, these there are tenth. Let's say in tenth we have one, one zero three. Okay. So before this scan, we will have you know, record like this. Ten record of like this. Ten records. Okay. So these are your ten records. And then this replicate would go into one one flow uh, below here and this one. So we will talk about the upper flow first. So what we are going to do in the upper flow is get scan get starting count by partition. So what we are going to do in uh, this one is we are going to see the starting count for each partition because we have serial 
and we are going to use the null key in the scan. So the serial data would be, uh, uh, there will be, because there is a 10 records and scan will output as a 10 records. So first, the output of this uh, scan would be like 0, because starting record is 0. Then there is a 100, then there is a like 202, then 98, after adding 98, there will be a three, uh, 300, okay. So likewise, we will receive 10 records. Okay. The, the, uh, the beginning, you know, the starting count by, by partition. So, okay, that's what we are going to do. So let's say 998, okay, after adding up. So the zero, the starting point of the record is zero, okay, and the end count is 998. So this may lie with in the tenth partition, okay, this record. So this the zeroth report would may lie in the zeroth partition probably okay so not sure of it okay so for each partition if we count so then there will be 10 records like these 10 records would be there after scanning okay then we are going to partition by round robin so and we are we are uh, you know stopping over here and let's talk about the lower flow so before scan we know how many uh, how the records are like 100, 102, 98 like this? These records would go into the roller. We are going to count it basically. So we you know these records will be we know thousand records. So after rolling up there will be thousand record, one record, and then broadcast these thousand records. Uh, there is one record because we are after rolling up there will be one record. So uh, the value of this one record will be thousand. Okay. And one upper flow what we have talked about is these kind of uh, things are coming from. As a 10 records, okay. 10 record of this kind of number. So in each partition, the starting count count would be zero. So in partition number zero, there will be one record, let's say zero, and partition one, 100, partition number two, 202, partition number nine, you know, 998. So these kind of things would be there. And within this join, we have one more flow which is coming from a duplicate, right? We have left that. So these are the thousand records sorted in within each partition. Okay. So these are three input of this particular joint. So now the calculation is going to happen in this joint. So what kind of cal calculation is going to happen? We have thousand uh, you know row record which is coming in IN zero, and in IN one we have you know starting point of starting uh, you know, uh, starting uh, count of each party and we have thousand coming in the IN02. So in group determination join function, what we are going to do is we are going to assign some uh, values or what we call as a decider. So the basically the group uh, how the group number basically. So what we are how we are going to there is a formula basically. So what what we use in this formula is to, to uh, create that, you know, del decile value or let's not call it as a group ranking number, okay. So that formula is like IN1 dot count. IN1 is the starting number of the, so starting number of each partition, then there is a record number. Record number is record number which is coming from the IN0, which record it is coming, okay. Then, okay, this we are going to do and we are going to do multiplication with 10 because we are going to, we have 10 groups right so we are going to multiply it with 10 and then we are going to you know minus by 1 and we are going to divide everything by i n2 count means here 1000 we are going to count uh, divide by 1000 plus 1 this is one number, this is one value which is coming probably in the decimal, okay, some decimal value. Value. So it would be for zero record, first record it would be like, you know, zero to one, it will be line between zero to one, okay. And one other value which we are going to uh, calculate is i n one, similarly basically the difference would be uh, like by calculating we would be adding one more one okay plus one here okay so 
there will be a decimal number 2. Okay. And this is going to be decimal number 1. So, what we are going to do is, we are going to compare these two numbers and with, where we are going to compare it, these two numbers, we are going to compare in this joint number. So, if my number is equal, then I am not going to, uh, not going to, because they are going to be, uh, you know, there will be a fraction of difference between two, these two numbers, okay, because we are going just to add one, okay. So, for any such record, so there are 1000 records coming in from the IN1, IN0, okay, and the uh, IN1 count is like a zero for first record, okay. And uh, first, you know, like uh, 200 records, there will be zero, okay, IN1 count. And for next record, there will be a thousand, next, uh, you know, 100 records, let's say. So, this, this number we are going to calculate for each and every record which is coming in from the IN0 flow. And whenever these numbers, you know, decimal 1 and equals decimal 2, then we are not going to pass. Do not pass. Only pass whenever these numbers are not equal. Decimal 1 not equal to decimal 2. Then do pass. Do pass in the sense of we from the join. We should receive only the records which are going to be passed. Okay. So meaning we are going to check. Okay, we are going to see the records which are in the IN0 and they are going to, you know, uh, switch across to the front group. Okay, so those, 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 you know, as, as the records we are going to collect here. Okay, after this joint. So there will be 10 records, okay, after this. So 10 records, okay, for each partition there will be one record, okay. So after this, the as record we uh, whenever we receive the as records, as record in the sense of so between between zero and that record, the group number would be one, and from that record to next uh, next you know record there will be another group likewise. So this is the uh, goal actually. So as record we are going to collect after this join, and then we are going to concatenate this. Okay, then there will be a one record and then we are going to roll up these, okay. We are going to accumulate those records. There will be a 10 record after concatenation and we are going to roll up these records. So, we are in accumulation function, we are going to, uh, we will have a series of records, right. So, after accumulation, you know, the records would be like, uh, uh, you know, after, after this uh, roll up, I would say there will be a vector and the vector values would be like uh, 1, 0, 6, 1, 9, 4, likewise. Okay, these as record we have received, right? 1, 1, 2, 91, 3, 70, 3 or something. And last is 9, 9, 6 or 9, 9, 8 or whatever. The final record, okay. So these uh, we have we have created one record. So that one record, okay. Now again, we did not assign the group uh, for each uh, record, right? So now we are talking about this one. So we have so after replicate there were three flows. We have talked about flow number uh, one and two. We did not talk about flow number zero. So if we flow number zero and all the this concatenate one record after broadcast. This is broadcast. So this broadcast would be uh, would be mapped with all these ten partitions. Okay. So so this uh, this record right, this accumulated record would be matched with all these uh, all these partitions. Okay. And that uh, is going to be joined. Okay, so with the null key and we are going to assign the number, okay. So, here also there is a formula, okay. So, whichever number which is the less than this, less than this, uh, you know, 106 is going to be assigned as a group number 
one and which is other, which is greater than one zero six and less than one nine four is going to be assigned as a in each partition is going, going to be assigned as a group number two and with the the, the number which is greater than 194 less than 291 is going to be assigned as a group number 3. Likewise, if any record which is let's say this is 887 greater than 887 and less than 998 is going to be assigned group number 9. So, in, within each partition, why we have broadcast it? Because it will be mapped with each partition. Okay. So, there are multiple places we have used the broadcast. First broadcast is here. What is the use case here is to uh, to match uh, you know all all these uh, you know numbers ten numbers ten different numbers to uh, to the multi multi file system so that we can you know we can create the range and then we can sort it within the group so this is for global sort uh, broadcast use second broadcast use is this one wherein we create the, the count we create, we have the order because we have the serial data. So we have rolled up and we created the you know, thousand records, you know, and then we broadcast is recorded because we have we have to match this uh, to the ten partitions right in this join. So we have you know broadcast this record to map it with each partition. And also similar uh, functionality over here uh, because we have ten partitions, we have one record over here, the accumulated record, okay, which looks like this. And uh, we need to map this record for each partition over here to assign the proper group here. Okay. So basically, it is to uh, uh, you know partition the record basically. Okay. So this is one complex use case basically. It, it may not be used frequently in the you know, real time application. But when we talk about uh, broadcast, we can see uh, this is you know this is how we, we, we can use. Uh, uh, okay. Yeah, thank you so much. Uh, with this, uh, I'm going to end this broadcast uh, thing actually. Uh, so we, we are going to see uh, other other pa other uh, parts of every issue, other things in every issue in, uh, in next videos. Okay, thank you so much.